This is the Lenovo C940 2-in-1 laptop. Now, 2-in-1, what does that mean? Well, basically you can use it in laptop mode as we've got here, or you can also completely flip the screen back and basically use it as a Windows tablet. So hence the 2-in-1 name. The bezels on the sides are actually quite thin. At first I thought this might be a problem as most other 2-in-1 laptops I've used have thicker bezels. And that's simply because when you hold the machine by the sides, your fingers are likely to trigger presses and take away from whatever application you're in, as the screen is a touchscreen. I didn't really have any issues with the C940 because the bezel down the bottom is much thicker and I found myself holding it there anyway, so it wasn't really much of an issue for me that the side bezels were thin. So you don't just have to use it in laptop or tablet mode, you can also do a few other things like tent mode, I'm not really sure how common that use case is, but you can prop it up like that and use it as a touchscreen, although it's the same angle as if you were just using it in laptop mode anyway, so don't really know how beneficial that is there. Overall though, I would say the build quality is quite nice. It's an all metal design and there's minimal chassis flex and screen flex. Basically, it just feels pretty solid. I've got the iron gray color here, but it is also available in a different color. As mentioned, the 14 inch touchscreen does have thinner bezels and as a touchscreen, it works quite well. I didn't really have any issues with it in that regard. The brightness is above average, color gamut is pretty good and there's also a 4K model. So I've got the 1080p version here, but the 4K model, at least according to the specs, is just a little bit brighter and also has better color gamut. So if you're doing color accurate work, like say design with Photoshop or something like that, the 4K version could be worth considering just for that. The 720p camera is up top and it's also got a physically sliding privacy shutter. Now the 14 inch touchscreen does show fingerprints up quite easily as it's got a glossy finish. And if you're touching it a lot, that's just something that's gonna happen. Fortunately, Lenovo have actually built a pen into the back of the machine here. So we don't just have to use our fingers. One of the problems I had though, was that when we've got it in laptop mode like this, I wasn't really able to get the pen out without seeing what I'm doing. So right now I know it's somewhere there, but I just can't get it. I don't know, maybe I'd get used to it, but I haven't so far after a few weeks of use. Maybe it's not a deal breaker because perhaps the majority of people aren't going to use the pen like this when you've got it in laptop mode. When you do flip it over into tablet mode though, I mean, it is much easier because you can obviously see what you're doing. So I can see that the pen's here and I can, you know, pull it out without any issues and I can start using that. But yeah, once it's back in uh, laptop mode, it's pretty difficult to access. And that's one of the only downsides I had with the pen. The pen gets charged when it's plugged into the machine, so you don't have to worry too much about it running out of battery. I found the keyboard to work pretty well. The key presses are nice and clicky and pretty satisfying to type with. Uh, there's no numpad unfortunately, but that is available in the larger 15 inch model if you need that. Uh, the touchpad also worked pretty well. It's got precision drivers and I had no complaints with it. It's basically using up all the available size that it's got. I mean, it is a smaller 14 inch laptop, so at least they haven't put a really tiny one there. There's also a fingerprint scanner to the right and I found it to work quite fast and accurate. One of the best things about the C940 is the battery life. Now it does only have a 60 watt hour battery, which sounds small, but as there's no discrete graphics in this machine, it just sips power. In my just streaming YouTube test, it lasted for almost 11 hours, which is quite impressive. You should be able to get all day battery life pretty easily here. Although it doesn't have discrete graphics, you can get away with playing some lightweight esports titles in 720p on the Intel Iris graphics. Just don't expect too much. On the left here, we've got two Type-C ports. Now both of these can be used to charge the laptop, but keep in mind that while it's charging, one of the ports will be taken up, so you'll only have one Type-C left. You can use either to charge, and both support Thunderbolt as well as DisplayPort. We've also got the 3.5mm headphone and mic jack here, USB Type-A port, and on the right, there's just the power button towards the back. I did accidentally press it a couple of times when picking up the machine, but I quickly got used to it. The Type-C charger that comes with the C940 is on the smaller side too. So overall, it's a smaller and lightweight package. And when combined with that all day battery life, it should be great for on the go usage. I found the laptop to run pretty quiet, even under heavy stress test. And although it is a metal body, it didn't feel too hot to the touch, even under this worst case workload. Basically, it pulls in air from underneath and exhausts it out the back. To get inside, we've got to remove four screws, and then there are three more under the rear rubber foot. There are just two fans inside, otherwise only a single M.2 slot. Wi-Fi and RAM are soldered to the motherboard, so you'll have to buy the configuration you need from the start, as these cannot be upgraded later. While that sucks, it's kind of pretty standard practice at this point for a laptop of this size. 
The single NVMe M.2 drive performed pretty well though, so you'll only really need to upgrade it if you need more space. Another good thing about the C940 is the speakers. So it's got a speaker bar running all along here under the bottom of the screen. And when you flip it over into tablet mode, that speaker is still facing out. And it's one of the best speakers I've ever heard on any laptop. It was seriously impressive. The C940 can be a bit slippery on a desk like this when you try and push it around. I mean, it's okay during normal use, but it does slide a bit more than other laptops. And that's because the feet on the bottom seem to be this kind of harder plastic rather than softer rubber like most other laptops use. Look, at the end of the day, the C940 does cost a bit of money. There are cheaper laptops with better specs, but generally they're heavier, while the C940 has a much smaller footprint. This is definitely for someone that values portability. At just 14 inches and being on the thinner and lighter side with that all day battery life, it's gonna be good for someone on the go. I could easily see myself using something like this while traveling compared to say the Xiaomi Mi Air that I recently got. It's not that much bigger and it's significantly more powerful. But at the same time, it does also cost more. So it just depends what you're after and what you're willing to spend. If you're looking at something on the more premium side, then yeah, I think the C940 is worth checking out. That's gonna do it for this one. Leave a like if you liked the video and get subscribed for future laptop reviews like this one.